people. <clears throat> uh, here we are back on Windchaser Farms. Uh, I'm just here with the small little front end loader. Um, trying to consolidate some straw bales. Um, pretty early in the morning here. We have our sun, sun, um, sunrise. Uh, I just finished uh, having my general medicine exam this morning, so I'm just here playing some farm sim to kill some time until to start studying again. But um, decided to hop back on here and make another little episode. Um, there goes the geese. There's some geese up there flying by. Um, so this map, um, for whatever reason, I have the the the, the lime and uh, liquid and solid manure mods installed. Um, for example, when I go into Giant's Editor, um, I can paint like you're painting crops. However, in game. Um, it doesn't show up when I spread, for example, the liquid liquid manure on the field. It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't show up like it should. So I don't know what the issue is there. Um, I have it scripted through the mod description through extra source files, like everything else. So it should work fine, unless unless I'm missing something. I looked at other maps that have it, and they seem I haven't tried or in in game. Um, so that's something. So I mean, it's, it's, I I don't know what the issue is. Um, I'm sipping on some coffee right now. Um, so we're just going to um, continue to consolidate these straw bales. Um, I consolidated most of the hay. So I'm just trying to get familiar with this front end lower controls um, and, and, and whatnot. So. We'll start making a pile over here. So, I mean, we still have our overloader over here, or green cart, whatever you want to call it. Um, with the crop from the field. Um, just uh, wanted to harvest this little field to get some straw for cows. I didn't really harvest it for the, the grain. So we have leaves and little dirt twigs and stuff and the, the wind turbines generating some green electricity for us. And we have a little, uh, there goes the birds, uh, geese again. So the trick is to tilt the bell toward you and then just back out of it. Seems to be working pretty good for me. So, just a couple more bells to go here. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, the last one I did was like uh, it, it was a comparison of the auto tractor um, versus course plate. And um, the nice thing is that the latest course plate that on Git, uh, GitHub, um, if you go there, it's the developer's version. Basically, what you do is you download it, you extract it, and you just uh, copy and paste the files. Um, you can see with the last time they updated, they usually update that you know, pretty pretty frequently. Um, 
especially now that they're converting it over to uh, Farm Sim 13. Yeah, I've been using it with my combine, uh, with the tractors, and it works really well. However, I downloaded the latest one where they made some fixes um, because previously the combine would go. I mean, you could you could increase you could combine a field at 30 miles an hour. Um, so I'm not sure if they fixed that little bug yet. Um, but other than that, it seems to work really well. Um, that grain cart there isn't recognized as an overloader though, so you can't use this as an overloader. Like an, if you make an overload um, uh, path, it, it won't work. It's the wrong trailer unless you... Uh, um, unless you put in like an overloader screen. I don't, I don't know how you would, would fix that. Um, but it works with all the other like mods that you convert over, like the Blazers or like the Kins Grain Carts. Um, those, those are recognized as uh, Grain Carts. The reason is, this doesn't... the, the pipe is... Uh, it's recognized as a pipe and you kind of have the... it's the standard like... Uh, just like a, uh, an auger pipe on a combine to, to unfold. So maybe that that's the issue. Maybe it's the scripting that it's picking up on. It doesn't recognize it as a uh, typical overload script. So that's one thing I noticed because I was I was gonna use it and it didn't it didn't, it didn't work. Uh, maybe it, maybe it does now. I don't know. That thing's barely holding on for dear life. Um, I usually don't play with little tractors. I mean, pretty much the smallest tractor I went went with in 13 was like a 7930 or 8410. Or 8400T or something like that. That's about as small as I went. You know, and was, those aren't small tractors. 8430. You know, they're all pretty big tractors. Um, I think I played with the 7730 for a little bit too. But, so, I mean, it's, it's nice that they actually have a. Um, these nice tractors were like in 13 with the titanium mod you have to wait for like crack crack uh, mods to come out and to be able to edit and stuff like that where now it's these are all standing like you know nice vehicles in game uh, that you are readily moddable so you can increase power you can adjust cameras I haven't I haven't done anything with uh, this machine yet. I'm gonna buzz on back. I have to get a, a trailer. I'll probably uh, convert a trailer over a flatbed trailer with ramps and stuff. Since uh, there's a couple trucks that have been converted, the Dodge Ram, the Ford uh, King Ranch version. Couple semis. Um, basically, just go on American Eagle modding, <laughs> and they have a lot of um, uh, on the forms. If you want to read and learn to do it yourself, you can do it there. 
um, good news source. So I only have a few more uh, hay bales left in the pasture here or whatever. So, so I figured out what the issue was with the straw planes. I don't have any, so I had to import some straw from like the standard map uh, to get some vis uh, visible str uh, straw. And then um, one bug that I already have discovered is with my navigation mesh. Okay, so like once they get to the perimeter, they like freeze. You guys see this? So like those are frozen, they don't move. Those guys are frozen at the, the trough, that's frozen. So I don't know what's going on there, that blows my mind. Um, cause I, I'm pretty sure I made the navigation mesh properly. Oh well. So there's a straw um, trigger in here. So I'll just uh, set that down. And I have that spread bale <laughs> mod so you don't have to load it up in like a feeder wagon or whatever. You can just set the bale inside the trigger and bam. It's spread. So that's pretty cool. Saves um, saves a lot of money for smaller farmers. Small farm operations that don't want to, you know, can't invest in 50, 60, whatever, some like that, thousand. And it'll be nice for, like, a, if you're just a small sheep farm or something like that, you can uh, just, like, bring your grass right to the feeding trough and bale it, do whatever you want. I mean, odds are you'll probably use a forage wagon so you don't have to buy a baler and what have you. So, another thing that I noticed is I never um, tend, like tendered or like dried the, the grass. I just cut it, windrowed it, and baled it. And uh, the, um, the mixing wagon registers that it is hay. So... It's pretty cool that you don't have to even dry the hay. <laughs> you know, that extra step you don't have to do. Which, I mean, good enough for me. It's not realistic because I know they go out and they flip the, the windrows over. Um, but you really can't flip a windrow over in this game. It'd be cool if you could. So I just, I'm just like stashing my uh, hay bales over here. We have some solid manure, um, quite a bit of it actually. We have quite a bit of liquid manure. Uh, uh, we have 186 cows, dairy cows. So the next step is to put in um, a dairy so you can sell milk, transport and sell milk. Is I don't think there's a, there's a milk truck anymore. There's no milk splines. There's no milk truck. Yeah, I looked on the standard maps. There's no um, vehicle spine for a milk truck to come and pick it up. There's no um, cell trigger on the farm. So I think you need to purchase um, some kind of transport and bring it to a dairy to sell. So that's something I have to uh, put in this map as well. So you can actually sell all the milk your cows are producing.
Um, ideally, there will probably be fenced off, so your cows just can't go ham and eat all of your hay. Um, but I'm just stashing it there for now. Um, there's no storage anywhere for, and there's no conveyor belts anywhere. Uh, I might possibly put in that uh, mixing station um, that you see all over the place where you, um, uh, it's like a permanent uh, mixing, mixing station. So you just dump off your straw, your hay, um, you bring in some silage, and it like mixes the perfect uh, feeding um, ratio. And then you just kind of like drive under with your wagon, and then it fills you up with a bunch of um, food for your cows. That, I think that's a pretty cool mod, and I probably will implement it, just so you don't have to... Um, it's essentially the same thing that I'm doing with this wagon. The only thing is, uh, it would be like essential facilities where you can store all your bales next to it. You can just unload directly into it. And then you can drive your mixing wagon or like a regular wagon if you adjust the fill types and stuff like that. Underneath them. But that's still up in the air. Let's see if these are rigid fences. Nope. Still need to fix it. So a few people have suggested to put more ditches. I mean, um, a lot of the roads do have ditches. Not all roads have um, water spillways, but I understand what what you mean, you mean by adding ditches. And I probably will. And I'll probably add more. Well, that that's rigid. Oh, it's just the point. Okay. Well. All right, so we got all of our hay. Gathered here. I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go and sell um, some grain because we have a bit of a deficit right now with money. So we'll just buzz on over. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good um, with... Okay, so cows are really expensive to maintain. Vehicle running costs, okay. Property maintenance. Oh, that must be that pressure washer. Wage payment, $29. Okay. So with all my equipment, um, big combine, big tractor, all the mowers and whatever, um, not bad. That's per day. Um, I think we'll go grab some canola. And sell it. I guess we're gonna have to go sell it at 
Conagra. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get some money. So this is really like um, there. There was a mod for 13 where you could like grow cows and beef and stuff like that. So hopefully, uh, I, I like the idea behind that. So we're kind of a New Holland farm at this point. Oh, here's a. Uh, Here's our big real tree quad. The thing looks really cool. Not, I'm not even gonna lie. It's super cool. I'm really happy with it. Love the camo. So. We're gonna buzz on down to our grain elevator and load up some canola. Wind Chaser Farms established 2010. Then we will uh, probably start cultivating again. Or maybe we'll do we'll run two loads of this and then purchase a corn planter. So, uh, you can see what that's like. So, you can see where our quad track is working over in that field over there. So I was left to do this is where the forest trees are supposed to be. Here's uh, the other farm with some crop. Looks like some hay and corn crop ready to go. Basically the all you need to run a dairy farm over there. That also has um, there's no navigation meshes or anything, but it has the feeding trough so you can feed your cows and such over there. Soybeans are ready to harvest. Um, maybe one of these days I'll put a multiplayer video up. Some, uh, some of us here you know, having some people help me harvest. Run the uh, grain cart, run the uh, semi combine, and such. So here's the original wind chaser farm. Uh, it started out as a small little grain farm with a red shed and some horses. And eventually had to expand and built uh, new shed facilities and a new uh, uh, elevator so they could dry the crop. So we'll just move up here. The field on the left, this cornfield, I think it was like 45 hectares. So you're looking at where maybe it was 47, maybe it's it like 140, 150 acres. That field right there, and then these, these two are like a combined like 50. And then the, the field around that wraps around the shed here was like 10 hectares, so that's that's like 24 or uh, 24 to uh, 24 to 25 acre field of soybeans right here. 
So you can get pretty good production out of that little field. Um, this is a... I'm not going to cheat this time. I'm going to go all the way. I'll just cruise uh, down to common. So I guess I could put more road ditches along this road. Um, I'm tempted to put power lines along the roads, the paved roads, but then again, not every road has a power line running, so I'm really not sure what to do with power lines at this point. I think I'll just leave it. I have speed limits, road signs, stop signs, um, so those are little details that have been implemented. Um, I'd say I'm probably like 75% done with adding all the, the new trees, the, the fall texture trees. I have to build a lumber yard still. Um, I'd say a lot of the farms, the layouts have been established, but I'm not here to finish building the town. Um, this is about the only part where we've got the dealership, uh, tractor supply, uh, facilities to sell sand and some grain. Um, but I need to add houses and like all the little details that like don't have any function, but it, it adds character to the map. Also, I want to add another grain facilities. I think I'll put it back there over um, by the, uh, the where the lumber lumber yard is going to be. Um, a little off-site. Like, there's no grain storage on this farm at all. You can't, you cannot store grain here. So, because the idea is this is just the only thing that's stored here is silage. Um, hay, hay, straw, silage, you have fermenting silos. It's just a farm just for dairy, feeding your dairy cows. So there's no grain complex, there's no grain silos. That's the original wind chaser farm. That's where the grain, if you want to do some grain farming, set up shop there. Um, because it has the shed and everything and nothing else. It has bunkers for fertilizer, uh, fertilizer tanks, uh, bunkers for lime. Um, it has the whole shop with tools and everything. So that's that's where you would want to like transport all your equipment if you want to do crop farming. Um, the other the other two farms are specifically for animals and uh, basically growing animals. That's where you can store solid manure. Um, so. That's the spiel on that. But uh, I want to add um, kind of like an isolated uh, complex out of the middle of uh, nowhere, essentially, just so you don't always have to run back to the wind chase with farm. Let's see, so we should get like 50,000 or like 45,000. We're about negative 2,000, so there we go, 42,000. So, clearly we need to fix those trains, I keep forgetting. So, I love this Wilson trailer. Um, Raphael was talking to me, and he's like, he, he, on Facebook, and he's like, <laughs> he's telling me like he really wanted to build a trailer. And I'm like, well, we already have plenty of American-style grain trailers. Like, if you want to have American Eagles, they had all kinds of, like, the corn huskers and the tempty. And so, I was like, well, we already have a lot of trailers. 
But he was pretty determined to, to make these. He, I think he made them in like just one weekend. Um, so shout out to him with animations and everything. It works great. Um, and he converted it over, so I'm glad he did. I think he's working on making it dirty. I haven't I haven't spent the time to make uh, any kind of a, a spec a spec map for the trailer. I only did it with the semi, but the semi isn't AO textured, so it doesn't look as good as one that has a full body wrap map. But at least it's something. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm just like talking to myself here, so I'm just rambling. Don't make fun of me. I really want to put a, a river on this map too, but I'm not sure where. Put a gazebo over there. Retaining walls. I really enjoy building retaining walls. Um, so there's a lot of retaining walls on the map. Uh, I saw Abel Modding put a uh, mission on the, the dryer tower. I have no idea what a dryer tower is or how it works or why you. I mean, I get it, like you're drying. But like, I'm not a farmer, so I, I don't know how any of this stuff works or what it should look like or how it should function. So he posted a pic of some, a pretty good idea of having a big, a lot of smoke emission on that. So I'll, I'll implement that. Just a little, little copycat. Copy that idea. It's a pretty cool. Um, this is all short grass. I'll just like, chill here. This is all short grass right here. Like you can't mow it, so it just looks nice all the time. It's not super tall versus uh, the other grass is more. You can see that this is already starting to get kind of dirty. So, Let me know what you think of the, the skies and everything. I changed the, the skies. So if you like the sunset, if you like the sunrise, if it's too dark, too bright, whatever. Little input. Everyone that keeps asking for a link, there's no link. It's not available for download. It's a whip. It's a work in progress for a reason. And as such, it is private. But I do plan on releasing it eventually, so stop hounding me, people. I'm busier than you. <laughs> so this is just a hobby. It always seems to be like the European people or who, whoever the fuck they are. I don't, I don't know who they are, but all they do is like post a link with a question mark. What the fuck is that? It's, Stupid. I had to ban like 10 people from my Facebook page for that. I just straight up banned them. Just because I'm not, I'm not uh, dealing with them. So there's a verbal warning. And if you, here's a general rule of thumb, if you don't release mods, or if you don't mod at all, don't request to be a tester, because if you don't, if you know nothing about modding, or mapping, or scripting, or anything, you can't be a tester. It's like, 
that's like knowing nothing about surgery and asking to be a surgeon. It just, it just doesn't make sense. You, you could offer no constructive feedback on solving issues. Anything you would identify is pretty obviously known. So that's just like a pet peeve for people asking to be a tester. It's like, I don't even know you. I've never talked to you before. I don't know what your work is. Show me an example of your work and maybe, possibly. But odds are, like, I would already know who you were if you, if you had good work out there. So just keep that in mind. There's nothing that uh, bugs people more than that. Alright, so I'm going to buzz on back to the farm. I'm going to get the TA320. I'm going to purchase a corn planter. Hopefully I have enough money. And then you start to cut the RPMs up on this. RPM, yeah. Pretty sure I'm over 2,000. Pretty sure I'm probably around like the 22, 2300 RPMs right now. So that's a little bit off. The speedometer gauge is a little bit off. That's fine. Uh, that's the only issue with those articulating tractors and course play is they act very snake-like. Um, what I mean by that is making sharp turns with uh, a tractor that turns slow or has a slow turning radius or uh, a very uh, um, uh, very uh, obtuse uh, radius. It, it's not the best when I'm going uh, when turning a, a small small. Uh, Radial turn. So. That's about the only flaw with course play. Other than that, it's like the best mod ever. I actually want to put the big front weight on this tractor just to see how it reacts. Let's see if we can go to our mods folder, look at a sewing machine, dang it. $98,000. Well, I have a solution for that. Oops. Oops. How do you sell? Okay. So. So. So I have to sell how many? Like 10 more? This is just a mod you can find anywhere on the internet. Huh. 
puts on over to the dealership, pick up our new toy, and then we'll go to Tractor Supply and load up with some seed. So this is the big soybean field that we were cultivating for a little bit, letting the GPS uh, do all the work for us. So, 98,000. We will fill this baby up with soybeans. Plant some soybeans. Over at the uh, tractor supply. However, I don't think this is a no I don't think this is enough to My seed trigger here. What is that? It must be grass or something. I thought I had a seed trigger. Guess not. Guess we're gonna have to go to the garden center. Cause I haven't, I haven't put a, any seed or fertilizer triggers. Whatever, we'll take the back roads. So this field over here is fertilized, cultivated, ready to plant. Two big windmills over here. Anyways, I'll just like unfold this quick so you guys can see. It's kind of a funny looking. Uh, mod that they did here, but it, whatever, you know, it works. Gets the job done. Um, it not only is it bigger, but it also doesn't skip all over the place. Like, um, like the, the standard in-game mod does. So I haven't finished. Um, I haven't finished building the roads here yet. So I'll certainly put. I'll, I'll certainly put power lines on this road, and power lines coming down here. Yeah, this is a pretty fun little road to drive on. Big lake over here to look at. Seven o'clock in the morning, a uh, nice view of sun, nice lake, some scenery over here on the left, a little 
kill you rocks and bushes and trees. Um, you can see down in the lake. So here is Lake Country. Oh yeah, it's like that sign. That's pretty cool. This is a, a, a moment for photos right here. I should end it. So this is the garden center where you'll be able to buy your seedlings and trees. And Maybe my trigger. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. Currently loading up with soybeans, breaking the bank. Very sweet view. So I'm going to run course play on this map up here initially to see how big this field is. And it will tell you how exactly how much um, um, seed it's going to use, how much it's going to cost to seed the field. Um, and then I want to see if they fix the planting speed before you would be able to just like fly across the field at 30 miles an hour or however fast we're going, 32. Um, and uh, basically that was it. But it looks like they, um, when I was shooting the, the cultivator with the T95C5, it would pull at what the implement was rated at. So. so this would be fun. Let's pull in here. Unfold. <laughs> Alright. Calculate current.
Maybe it's too big, I don't know. Whatever. I'm just run this on manual. How about that?
So as you can see, we're going through quite a bit of soybeans here. Whoop, wrong button. I don't think there's a single flat field on this map. Every every field has a certain kind of curvature to it, slopes to it, uh, different little hills. So everything has um, its own little character to it.
are now at 50% seed, so... Probably take close to 25-30,000 to seed this entire field. <sighs> With, uh... Soybeans, that is. What you get out of it is, um... You'll probably, since it's all fertilized, I don't know, you'll probably get six, five, six, seven hundred thousand liters of soybeans. Probably uh, 22, maybe 40, or 35, whatever it is. Anyways, well worth the investment. Now the the field itself will probably be two fifty three hundred thousand to, to to purchase. see that we're making quick work of this field. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let that guy do his thing. I wanna 